Hello, everyone, and welcome to my new show called The Adventures into Quantum Realities. My name is Sarah Oxidine, and today our topic will be the quantum reality of thought. I found it to be a very interesting topic as um, a friend of mine was asking about the frequencies of thought and what is thought. And uh, I said, okay, let's break this down. <laughs> so the quantum reality is a thought. So let's say thought itself is a frequency. Each thought contain a vibrational awareness of what the intention is behind the thought or word. Let's say that each word or phrase has a potential frequency. Now, what do I mean by potential fre frequency? Once a thought is created and stated within the mind, the potential frequency goes out. And if one were to focus on that potential frequency, meaning that thought, that, that, that frequency within itself, then that thought has more opportunity to become a reality, to become part of your existence within itself. So the vibration of the thought is created. And as the vibration of the thought is created, it creates an energetic potential. So as you focus on that thought and that thought creates new frequencies, new ideas, new words pertaining to that thought. So let's say you're thinking about running water and with that bubble of, or, or faucet of water, you also think about rain or you also think about a river or you also think about an ocean, right? It continues to create itself as the thought swirls around it or as new thoughts become attached to the original thought itself. And so we've all heard the saying, we create our own realities. So it's kind of like, you're creating a potential reality with the thought alone. As you begin to speak or add more information to the thought, it gains more awareness, more momentum, more of the vibration of creation. It's like turning the frequencies of your own natural reality in that effect. And so by the vibration of speaking out to someone or to yourself, by the vibration of speaking alone, that thought has a much greater power or much greater opportunity to be able to affect your reality in some way, shape, or form. So sometimes we think of rain and with the thoughts of rain, it begins raining in our reality and we say, how did that happen? Because you thought it. Or we can say, you know, money. And we want money, we can say it out loud and we can, as soon as we say it out loud, other thoughts on how we can attain that money begins to show itself to us. So this is just a small snippet of how the vibrational thought itself, the frequency of a word or an idea or an intention 
will begin to create the reality within you and around you. So that was my little spiel on that idea. I hope you come back and to watch more ideas or more interactions with me and uh, maybe with some friends of mine soon. Say hello, Matt. Hi, <laughs> As, How are you? Good, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> you see? <laughs> Having this uh, event here at a coffee yeah. shop allows for other people to participate when I said interact with me. So there we go. Uh, so I would have more ideas, more thoughts for you to, you know, kind of take apart, put it together, think about it. Uh, and we're going to go into the science and the, and the creation of the feelings and, and getting more into our emotions and how all of that create our reality as we perceive it. So thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you here soon. <laughs> I love you. Namaste.